Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Corlick from Figure It Out Productions. The following video is a video of some kind, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Adam here, and today I got an idea for a video because, frankly, something stupid happened, and I thought, why not try and solve this on camera? Um, so today what we're going to be addressing is the black screen of death that occurs with the Xbox One. It seems to be more common in the original, like, base VCR model. So in my particular situation, I don't know if you guys saw or remember that ridiculously long episode of Playload I did not too long ago where at the very end of it I'm talking about an Xbox One I picked up at a Goodwill outlet out in uh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, it was this console. I got it for five dollars. I found it in a junk bin. So you would think that this video is like, oh, he fired it up and it didn't work. No, that is not the situation. In fact, in that video, I fired it up and it worked totally fine. Uh, after I was done with all that, I decided to reformat the console, clean it up, put my own account on it, everything's good to go. So in fact, I'm going to fire it up right now. I've also taken the liberty of cleaning it up so you can see what it originally looked like, which was, uh, it wasn't awful. It was just a lot of dust in the vents and in the controller port, or well, the, the controller port, the USB ports, as well as the disk drive. And there was this big white like scuff mark on it, but I, I managed to clean all that up and give it a nice surface cleaning. I didn't take it apart or anything because Xbox Ones are not the easiest console to take apart. But regardless, my point is that this console actually worked totally fine. Um, so you can see it set up here on the Lepo screen, this little 14 inch portable monitor they hooked me up with. And it boots up just as normal. Of course, the original uh, version of the Xbox One had the longest boot up time of any of these consoles. But uh, yeah, so you get the green screen, which incidentally is going to look a lot better to you. I have to actually look through the camera to see it. Uh, but once it's past that screen, you can see the dashboard as normal. And now it's, you know, totally, you know, set up with my account information. Now we don't actually need this to run. So what we're going to do is go ahead and turn it off. Um, so yeah, turn off that console. But as I said, that's how it should look and that's how it should work. Um, however, I had this console you know, set up and it was done. And I was like, you know what, while I have everything wired up and everything, I should go ahead and, you know, update my original base uh, Xbox One. The one that I got that I did a video on back in 2013, uh, back when I first got the system. I thought, yeah, that makes sense. We'll just, you know, occasionally turn it on and give it its updates, right? So I go ahead and I do that. And then that's how you get this console. This is the one I've had since 2013, right? And so I was like, all right, fire the console up just like that. And it gives me uh, the update screen, right? And I proceed with that update. It's like a four and a half gig update, at least at the time I make this video. And everything goes just fine, right? But afterwards, after the update's over, it gives me problems, which you're about to see here. So it doesn't, fir at first it looks like everything's okay. You can see the green screen there that came up and everything. And as per usual, it's going to take its long time uh, loading up, but this is when I was first introduced to the concept of the uh, Xbox One black screen of death, which unless I get horribly proven wrong here, it should appear in any moment, um, which is just really unfortunate. But uh, fortunately there is a solution to this that I'm going to try doing live here, if you will, and we will see if it works out or not. Um, but first we have to actually prove that uh, <laughs> it did in fact actually there. Okay, so now it's gone black, right? So it doesn't go past the screen and it doesn't really do anything else. You can click on stuff and nothing really happens. The one reaction you typically can get out of it is if you hold down the center button here, that screen pops up. You know, the one that allows you to turn the console off and all that sort of stuff. But that's it. That's the only thing that happens. So we're going to go ahead and turn the console off again. Uh, and wait for it to completely shut down. And then there are three potential solutions for this, and it's really up to you which one you're gonna do. I know which one I will do, but I'll, I'll let you guys make that decision. We'll talk about them a little bit as we go. So now the console should be completely off. Just to double check, I'm gonna unplug it for a second, plug it back in. So at this point, what we wanna do is put the console into safe mode. And in order to do that, you basically first fire up the console, then you hit the uh, sync button on the side and the disk drive, and then you just hold that for a moment. And it should beep again, there you go. So now we have the console in safe mode. So if you hit continue, that'll just take us right back to that black screen of failure. Uh, so then you have the options to reset the Xbox and you have the option to do an offline system update. Now, offline system update theoretically could solve this problem for you. 
Um, but I won't be doing that uh, because I don't think that that's the issue. Plus, I don't want to go around downloading the firmware and all that sort of stuff. So what we're going to do instead is reset this Xbox. And then you're given two options. So here's the second and third option. One is to reset it, but keep all of your games and settings, etc. And the other is to do a complete refresh, just a total restoration. Now, I think most people would opt for the keep your games and stuff. I'm actually going to go with the full reset. And my reasoning is this Xbox really doesn't have anything on it. It's not the primary one I use or anything like that. So I really have no reason to risk a problem still being there when there's nothing important on it. So we're going to go for complete and total system restoration. So I'm going to tell it to do that and we're just going to see how this goes. So the process is now essentially complete. That was actually incredibly simple. I just followed the very basic prompts, which not surprisingly was, hey, use the controller, press the button, uh, give us all your language settings, tell us where you are geographically, log into your account, and then it's just the usual Microsoft prompts about like, do you want Xbox Game Pass? And do you want us to sell your information? <laughs> you know, like all that sort of stuff. Honestly, child's play. You just kind of go through all that sort of stuff. Then once you're back into the console, you can go into your archives of your, uh, you know, where you have your digital games or you have your, uh, in this case, just apps is the only thing I'm redownloading, things like Disney Plus and Netflix, because uh, honestly, an older Xbox One like this, to me, its only real function is just a streaming service device for Disney Plus and Netflix that I can put in different rooms or whatever, uh, or just as a display piece. But I certainly did not want the console to actually be dead because then it is truly useless. But uh, yeah, so in my case, like I said, the whole console is now completely refreshed. Very simple uh, fix. Um, if you're adamant about keeping all the stuff on there, like you know you saw before, that is an option. You can do that. Uh, it's just that that risks the, the issue potentially not being solved and still having uh, certain little bugs in there. In this case, there really was no reason to do that just because this console had nothing on it other than my profile, which is exactly what I just reattained. So no big deal. And then the third option of doing the you know, system update again through a USB device, really not necessary, because uh, once you restore it and all that, and it does any sort of system update if it needs it, which ironically it actually didn't, uh, then that potentially could fix it, but it's just it's just more work that you don't really need to do. This is just the simplest fix, and I was able to do this in real time on the video. So there you go. Um, no, it is it is. I just think it's hilariously ironic because and proof that this is the one that was original is you can see that the the disc mechanism thing that the little sticker is not on it anymore, whereas the Goodwill one still has that just like it had in the video. Obviously, this one has some scarring and stuff like that. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just funny how that worked out. But uh, there you go, guys. I hope if anybody runs into that problem out there, that helps them. Actually, another while I've got your attention here, and we're talking about the base VCR Xbox One. If you run into a different issue, um, there is one issue that is very commonly solved, uh, which is, and I've run into it, funny enough, on this one, but not on this one, which is when you put a disc in, sometimes the console just kind of like can't acknowledge the disc. Uh, and it's it has to do with uh, something about the disc loading device. It's not necessarily like the laser or whatever There's actually a very simple fix where if you just kind of like lift the console like that when you put the disc into it Gravity kind of compensates for the problem and then it's able to load a disc. So hey, we got a little pop noise I guess something installed. I'm not really sure um, But anyway, so yeah, you can uh, do that. Hopefully that helps you with your Xbox ones and uh, thank you guys very much for watching If you guys could please like comment subscribe all that sort of stuff uh, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, Discord, all that sort of stuff's in the description. I appreciate that as always. Please leave a comment, seriously, and a like. I, it seriously does help the channel a lot. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.